Uh, I'm Matt. I'm a TerraWeb student at the University of British Columbia. I'm studying the role of mycorrhizal networks in the reestablishment of Douglas fir forests. Um, you can see right here, these are two Doug fir seedlings. They're in their first season. They've just germinated. Through Matt's research, we're going to understand what are all the important factors for successfully establishing trees, allowing them to survive, to grow and to thrive. What we're monitoring is how well the seedlings are doing uh, with the different size gaps uh, that we've chosen. This one is a control treatment where we've planted in about 10 seedlings. Matt's doing his study at the edge of the Douglas fir forest where they grade into grasslands. As the climate gets hotter and drier, we have more mortality in the forest. Trees have a really hard time regenerating when the plant community changes over from a forest community to a grass or meadow community. They've got to compete with those really aggressive grasses for water and light and nutrients, and usually they fail. So Matt's study will really shed light on how those large gaps are very inhospitable to regeneration of forests. Forest gaps are really, really important for seedling regeneration. Uh, basically, they determine how much light is available for the seedling. They determine how much moisture is available for the seedling. Gaps open up by natural disturbances, such as pathogens, also by human-made disturbances, such as forest harvesting. Matt's research is looking at how mycorrhizal networks, which are these vast fungal networks below ground associated with all the major trees, support the regeneration of new seedlings. All that white filament, that is basically the fungus. And those are all connected into the root systems of all the surrounding trees in this gap. And uh, yeah, it spreads really, really far and wide. The mycorrhizal networks are usually pretty intact even when it's been disturbed. And if that seedling falls in that gap, it hooks into the network, it's got just the right suite of resources, then it can start to grow and regenerate and flourish and become a, a large tree in the future. So here we have planted 10 seedlings in a nylon mesh bag. Mycorrhizal hyphae can't grow through it, but it still allows for the transport of water. So what we're testing here is uh, how helpful the network is to the seedling while it's regenerating. So we'll be able to figure out how big of an opening they need, how close they need to be to these networking trees around them. If we find that a certain size gap ends up being really, really beneficial for these tree seedlings, then the forest industry can start using that information to facilitate regeneration. We can start adjusting our behavior, adjusting our practices to make things better for trees to regenerate and grow in these really tough environments.